name is Brian, and welcome to the podcast. Today, we're talking about The Matrix Resurrections, or I would like to call it more like The Matrix, The Matrix Regurgitated, because that's pretty much what it is. Um, oh my goodness, this movie. Okay, so the very, uh, this is not going to be, not a spoiler, this is a non-spoiler review. But light spoilers if you haven't watched the trailers and all the other stuff. Um, but if you've been watching everything relating to The Matrix, then you probably already know some of these things. So I'm not going to be as guarded with my spoilers as I usually am. Here's the deal. This movie um, starts with pretty much a rehashing of the very first movie. And it's really messy. And I want to get to the, I'm gonna just want to get to the point here. It's really really messy um it's obvious that there are people that it's obvious that hugo weaving and Lawrence fishburne are not there it's really obvious the people that replaced him in the movie no offense to them um just don't remotely hold a candle uh to their abilities and the premise of the movie just doesn't make any sense you get lost in the first like 10 minutes you get lost pretty quickly and how do i say this without spoiling it um it doesn't seem like keanu reeves is the main character i know he is the main character but it seems like someone else is the main character I don't want to tell you who that is, but um, a lot of a lot of the weight of the movie is shifted onto Carrie Ann Moss at some point in the movie, and it doesn't look good. There's a lot of overacting. Uh, Will Smith's wife, I was Jada Pinkett Smith. Uh, I'm trying this music, sorry, the music was <sighs> Jaden Pinkett Smith overacts like crazy so she plays like this really old lady in the movie she's she's herself she's like her character but much older right and um she really it, it's it's like it's like watching one of those like old uh snl parodies of like you know the, the porn movie from the 80s she like really overacts it and I know she's not actually really a very good actor, so she usually overacts, but in this sense, she really takes it to the t- tippy top, like it's a parody. Um, the new characters in the movie, you know, I didn't mind... I didn't mind uh, the purple-haired lady. She was fine. But the motivations were really off, and I don't want to get too far into it, but Basically, Neo is like a video game developer in this world, and The Matrix is a game, which I'm pretty sure that Shay and I <laughs> predicted. And everything that he's doing in the game, or everything that he writes into the game, is part of the, the, like, real life, or whatever, or like, the part of The Matrix. And, and it, like... The universe doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like you have parts of the game manifesting or the matrix manifesting in the real world via like hologram technology or nanotechnology or something. Um, so now like the agents from like that matrix can come into the real world and they never really explain it. Also, there's like good machines and bad machines and, This is a very messy movie, and I'm going to keep this as brief as possible. Um, it's messy. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't feel like the action scenes. First off, this is not a Matrix movie. I know it says The Matrix, but the Matrix I watched, the first Matrix, even the second and third Matrix, all had something special going for it. They had these 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 action scenes that were so incredible that they were in the first movie they were literally groundbreaking in the second and third movies they just went above and beyond on the action scenes this movie is like it's like matrix the tv show 
if Matrix only had a TV budget and this was the action they can give you, maybe that's what happened. Maybe they spent all their money on the cast and they had no money for action sequences. I don't know. But, um, it's, it is, it is the, it seems like any typical action movie, the camera is shaky. I hate that so much. You can't clearly see the action like you did in the first Matrix. It just seems like all the typical sort of budget film tropes are here in an action, in, in a Matrix movie. And honestly, Keanu Reeves doesn't seem like he cares to be there um, the whole time. He just seems like, you know, I'm already shooting John Wick. I might as well go down the street and knock out this Matrix movie for a bunch of money. Um, it was a massive letdown. And they did lean heavily on the first Matrix movie. Like, heavily. A lot of the first Matrix movie was in this movie. Um, to sort of explain the plot. And it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So, now listen, if you like it, great. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad someone did. I was extraordinarily let down by this film. And as someone who had the ability to watch on HBO Max and chose to, to call in a favor and watch it in a theater, I wish I would have saved that favor. I really wish I would have saved that favor and just watched it in like 12 hours. So, you know what? Go and watch this movie on HBO Max where you're already paying for it. I don't I wouldn't waste your money. Don't waste your money and go to the go to the theater. Like go watch Spider-Man or something cuz that's an amazing movie. And I'm going to wait until Shane gets back to review that because I loved it. But save your money. And watch it on HBO Max because it's really not worth. I know it's like, oh man, you gotta watch it in IMAX. It's a Matrix movie. Oh man, do not waste your money. Because there isn't even any IMAX worthy scenes in this movie. It's like, it is so. It's like Matrix on a TV budget. I don't know what to tell you. It's not great. Um, it's not good. And the story is messy and it's all over the place. And you really feel the lack of Lawrence Fishburne and Hugo Weaving. And it feels like Keanu Reeves doesn't really want to be there. And a lot of the story doesn't make sense at all. It just doesn't make any sense. Like Zion's gone and stuff. It's like there's too much to get in here get into here. But I'll tell you what, next week when we have more time, we'll do a live stream where we can actually talk about it in person. But it's not a good movie. So that said, uh, when you watch this movie tonight or tomorrow on HBO Max, I hope you don't waste your money. Come back and uh, let me know what you guys thought of the movie. Um, there was also, there's a lot of like, I hate to use this word, but there's a lot of sort of woke elements to this where I feel like they really, and I normally don't care about this too much, but they really push in that direction. They really do. And I hate to say that, but they push into this like, uh, Neo, Neo is not the main character. Um, he starts off as the main character in the movie. You think that, but he's sort of pushing the role onto carry on Moss. So, and I don't want to say any more than that. Watch the movie on HBO max. Come back and let me know in the comment section, what you thought about this film. Okay. That's it. I'll see you uh, in a few hours. Adios.